Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and go to thejourneybean.com for more pictures of our trips. Let's see if I can get out of here. I don't know how to move. <laughs> oh God. This is embarrassing. It's not going. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lee. And this is B. We love to travel and we have very strong opinions. This is beautiful. So we took it upon ourselves to visit some of the highest rated places on the internet to make sure they were really worth visiting so that you don't have to. You're welcome. Not doing that. This week we're traveling to Catalina Island and in case you can't tell by the name, it's an island. So the first step is getting your tickets on the Catalina Express. Adult round trip tickets are $75, seniors are $65, and children are $60, but check before you go. You could probably also take a helicopter. And also don't forget to get your copy of the Smooth Jazz News. The first ferry usually leaves at 7am and the last ferry to leave the island is around 6.30pm. Since we got there pretty early, we decided to get some breakfast and try to control my OCD. I feel better now. I don't use cream. Did I forget to mention that we brought along the family for this one? Don't worry, that'll be the last time you have to see those guys. There are quite a few ways to get around the island and one of them is by golf cart. There are about four different places to rent golf carts in Catalina Island, but the prices are all comparable. It costs $80 for two hours in a four-person golf cart or $120 for a six-person cart. And two hours is probably all the time you need. Can't have beer on the beach, but I think I'll be okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good right here. You can easily see most of Catalina in a day, but we decided to spend the night so we could have a full day adventuring. So we spent the rest of this day watching the ocean. We started out the day at the Wrigley Memorial and Botanical Garden. The garden is a 30 minute walk up Avalon Canyon from the town center, or you could take a bike or a golf cart and reach there in half the time. And if you're really feeling frugal, you could take a city bus. Although best known as the largest manufacturer of chewing gum in the world, William Wrigley Jr. also played an instrumental role in making Catalina Island what it is today. Wow. Without William Wrigley Jr., none of us would be here on Catalina Island. He brought public utilities, a hotel, and the iconic casino building. He also started the extensive planting of trees, shrubs, and flowers. For a short while, he was actually buried at the memorial, but now he's buried in Glendale, California. The idea for a garden came in 1935, a few years after Mr. Wrigley died. His wife, Ada, decided to plant a garden that emphasized the plants that grow naturally on California's islands, but nowhere else in the world. Most of the plants are extremely rare, and some of them are endangered species. So it costs $8 to get into the botanical gardens, which is really nice if you like looking at trees and cacti. I don't like looking at trees and cacti. Except for this guy. This guy's beautiful. Like golf carts, you can rent bikes at numerous places around the island. Renting a mountain bike is around $12 an hour or $30 a day. We decided just to rent for a few hours. We also decided to go snorkeling. In most places on the island, you can get all the equipment you need for two people for under $100. If you decide to do a fancy tour or go power snorkeling, then the price goes up from there. Oh, and we don't have any fancy underwater equipment, so if you want to see fish, you're going to have to use your imagination.
Obviously, there are other things to do on Catalina Island, but there are only 24 hours in a day. But enough with all of that. How about that gift shop? We hope you enjoyed our trip to Catalina Island. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and go to thejourneybean.com for more pictures of our trips.